Hello ladies and gentlemen, Solomon here, okay, Jim, and I'm here with a tutorial for Battlefield 4 about getting more FPS with a low performance computer. And even for you with a pretty good system that wants some extra performance as well. I'm going to show you my setup for my video settings right now. As you can see on the screen, I'm running with 1080p, 6Hz, even though this is 59.94Hz, uh, which is really weird. I don't know why it does that, it does in Battlefield 3 as well, but however. Fuck that. So, um, for me who's a live streamer, I live stream from a single setup computer. Like, um, some people use a dual uh, computer to live stream with a capture card. I don't do that, so I need the extra performance. But if I don't live stream, I can actually run this, this preset um, settings on high or even ultra without dropping that many frames. But since I'm live streaming, it takes a, uh, up a lot of CPU power, and I need to put it down to custom. And these are my settings. I've turned pretty much everything on low and off, and there's actually not that big of a difference in game. Like you can't see that much difference. But let's start on these this left side here. So whatever your native resolution is, you should go with that probably. Full screen, I would recommend going on. Oh, full screen mode, sorry. I would recommend going on either full screen or borderless. Borderless is basically window mode full screen. So I'm going on full screen here, right here. Brightness shift, it doesn't really matter, but it calls sync off because you can like you can lock your FPS at 60 if you want to instead. As you can see in right, top right corner, I'm running on 85 FPS. And that's what I locked it by a file. I used a config file. I put it in my Battlefield 4 com uh, my Battlefield 4 folder, and I will actually show you my settings in that later on. So my field of view is on 70. I don't feel I need anymore. Motion blur amount, just remove it. Put it on zero. It's not good. It's bad. <laughs> put it on zero and be happy. Weapon off is basically, as you can see, it controls the, uh, the first person zoom weapons with blow. Yeah, will blow, will be blowed out or, or not? Oh God! Uh, turn it off as well. Gives an FPS increase. Why not? Good size. I got it on uh, seventy-five percent. Doesn't really matter what you want to have it as. It's just basically the minimap, and I'm gonna show you my minimap how it looks. This is how it looks. If I would uh, decrease this to let's say forty percent. It will get smaller. So I'm actually gonna put it down to 5% just to see. You can see it goes, gets smaller and smaller and smaller. But for me, I like it to be quite big because I have pretty much some kind of trouble seeing the minimap otherwise. So, other than that, if you have a low PC performance, like put everything on low as much as you can. Resolution scale, basically what it, what it does is put it on under 100 if you want more performance, put it over 100 uh, if you want more quality. And uh, for me, I just keep it at 100%. It doesn't really matter for me. I, it's not going to do that big a dif difference. But I wouldn't recommend going under 85, 80, 85%, something like that. It's probably going to start looking pretty ugly after that. So yeah, uh, this is pretty much everything in game. So I'm going to show you my user config file now, and uh, I will give you some tips and tricks about that. I guess I got my user.cfg file. Cfg file. Cfg stands for config. So it's, yeah. So you, what I have is game time max variable FPS 85. Basically, what this does is it locks your FPS at 85 FPS, and uh, why would you want to lock your FPS? Well, for me who runs at a 60Hz screen, I don't want my graphics card to load more frames than 85%. Well, 85 frames, I mean, sorry. Because, that, first of all, it will give you less performance and it would also um, make your graphics card warmer. So I would recommend people with a 60Hz screen put either, well, Put this max variable variable FPS at like 60, 70, 80, something like that. 
and you you will see a better performance. Uh, yeah, meh. <laughs> and then you have the perf overlay. You just don't care about these. It doesn't really matter. Post process dynamic AO enable zero 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 zero. All this like I'm not gonna keep it really clean, and it just gives you more performance. It doesn't change your game pretty much anything. It just gives you more performance. So what I've done here is I disabled motion blur. Like every motion blur setting I've turned off. I put my spotlight shadow resolution to 256. I think the original one is like one gigabyte or something, I don't know. I'm not 100% sure about this. And I'm not, to be honest, I'm not really 100% sure what all these settings do. All I know, it helped me get more FPS in Battlefield 4, but it also helped me in Battlefield 3. And it was similar settings back then as well. But here's something that would probably give more people a performance boost. And that's disabling DirectX 11. Um, DirectX 11, a lot of people have had pro problems with this, and if you actually disable it, you would get a quite huge, sometimes the double FPS for some people, by just turning it off. And that's crazy. However, um, I don't really feel a difference with it on or off. Um, but you may want to give it a try. Why not? You're here because you have problems with Battlefield 4 and I'm here to try and to help you. But that's about it on this end. I will have all this text down in the description below so you can basically just copy and paste it down to your own user config if you want to do that. But I want to show you how to make one of these first of all and where you're gonna put them. I'm just gonna add a monitor here and you can see my whole screen. Yes you can, cool. So I have Notepad++. It doesn't matter if you use the normal Notepad or if you use another kind of Notepad software. But I'm using Notepad++. So what you're gonna do is uh, you can go File and New or just press Ctrl N and type something like and I press an S. Ctrl S to save. And then what you do is going to your let's see. Program well go to the folder you have installed Battlefield 4 rather, which is for me Program Files 86 and Origin Games Battlefield 4. You can basically just copy this link up here, and you can well not really paste it apparently. You can do that before. Okay, you go computer, blah blah blah, Origin Games Battlefield 4, and you save this as user. Dot cfg and that's it then you can just paste all these settings and everything will be fine um so yeah that's it really i think um hopefully this will help you a little bit and if not i'm sorry i guess <laughs> so yeah uh hopefully it will help you otherwise sorry again uh, anyway, have a really nice day or evening whenever you're watching this. I'm Solomon, and I'm out. Bye.